Well, g'day, floodies and globe defenders. It's Critical Thing from Down Under. Now, me good mate, where's Wally, fellow member of the Wolf Pack, has suggested we go and look at Julian Danz's channel and see his ISS feed, which he has some special add-ons for. So I went and took a look, and uh, I noticed the ISS was uh, coming over Australia. So I took some pictures from the feed, and I did some analysis on the clouds and matched up with the Himawari 8. So let's go and take a look at this. At the time that I started to view this ISS feed, I noticed the ISS was actually over Australia and coming up towards Queensland. So uh, I thought that was interesting. I'd, I'd see, go and try and look at, see if I could identify any landmarks. And uh, having a look at the Himawari 8, in, uh, which is a real-time feed of this hemisphere that Australia sits in, I'm looking at the uh, cloud formations around about this time. Notice there's some interesting circular one right there to the southeast and a little bit of a sort of a circular pattern to the left. Now, people like Gleam say silly things like, oh, that could be a globe or flat. The Himawari 8 doesn't tell you anything about the shape of the Earth. But then, um, okay, if this was not a globe, then my question would be, well, where's the US of A and Europe? Where are they gone? They Shouldn't they be shown if that was a, a view of something flat? No, they're over the other side of the globe, and that's very easy demonstrated. But anyway, I've zoomed in on Australia. So you, the things to note, there's a big patch of cloud to the east, and uh, there's a, some more cloud in the middle of Australia, and uh, in the coastline it's clear, and I did verify outside that it was indeed a sunny day here because um, Brisbane is down to the uh, down in that area there a little bit of cloud to the west but mostly a sunny day so the ISS is going to pass over this cloud area in the middle of Australia and come through this area somewhere around over Mackay. This is also around the same time I've zoomed in. This one is 10 minutes later. The ISS pass was around between 13.30 and 13.40. And I've got this particular cloud pattern I've identified here. And uh, you can actually see this cloud pattern on the ISS feed. So we zoomed in a bit, there's that cloud pattern down the bottom there. Now with the ISS feed, you can see that same cloud pattern. So there it is, you can see it both in the uh, both cameras, there it's popped up. So let's go back and have a look at that cloud pattern, and that's very, very close. That is the same cloud pattern. And the time is the same. So there's this live feed from the Himawari 8 and a live feed from the ISS and they're both showing the same clouds. And as we get a little bit closer towards the coast, you can start to see the coastline on this picture top left. And there's some more cloud patterns there that I'll identify later. And we're getting closer to the coast. A little bit closer. And uh, you can see now, start to see some identifying landmarks. And we can verify where that is on Google Maps. So you see these islands up here at the top and a distinctive peninsula down there on the bottom. What is the bottom? But that picture is orientated there in a particular way, not necessarily the way that you would expect. 
and there's the same picture down on the other camera same island that you see there you see this one this picture's in a different orientation and uh, this appears to be fairly straight which suggests maybe that's not a fisheye lens and there's still a curve there in both of those both of those live feeds and so this verifies with the features in uh, from Google Maps so what is viewed from the ISS is uh, what is expected the view of the ground is exactly what we expect to see there now I've taken the same patch of cloud from the ISS feed on the left and the Himawari 8 I've zoomed in quite a bit on the right so you have to remember that the Himawari 8 is nearly 36,000 kilometers in a geosynchronous orbit and the ISS is only 400 odd kilometers and the ISS this picture is facing at an angle down and the Himawari 8 camera is facing straight down so the angles are a bit different and one's closer than the other one and so the pictures the cloud patterns won't be exactly the same but they will be very similar so if you first of all look in this area on the ISS feed you can see there's a, like a number three there and we can identify that in the other cloud pattern as well but that's not all that just may you say that may be a random pattern but there's another symbol here which looks a little bit like a part of a Japanese alphabet or something but that's very distinctive shape also appears on the same cloud pattern now there's also other cloud patterns down here under that very very similar um, so there's one that's the same that matches that matches and then the next one down there I've drawn some lines in to match that up and uh, some people would see that as a heart shape and uh, some others would see it differently but there you go you can see that the patterns match up and for any of you flat earthers that might think that the ISS can't be real well there's definitely something there you can chew on